I play my bells at least three days. <laughs> Bring us up to murder some babies. Sitting there with a the drink, just enjoying it. I've been so busy that I can't remember it all. Welcome to episode four of the Galactic Nomads Traveler podcast and the conclusion to our module High and Dry. If you discovered us on YouTube and enjoy our adventures, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, we'll try to get back to you. We also have a Patreon site at patreon.com slash galactic nomads. Nomads, as always, is spelled with a G. There you'll find more podcasts and exclusive content only available to patrons. Last episode, our crew reached their ship on a small lake island in the middle of a volcanic crater on Mount Salabari. They discovered the previous crew had ruined most of the controls and equipment, and the ship was in worse condition than expected. Now atop the volcano, after a good night's rest, they set about making their repairs. Will the crew have the skills to get her in the air again? And what other challenges await them? Alright. Um, so morning comes. Um, so you're going to work on engineering. Yep. You're going to work on no, flight navigation. And... You're going to do the survey stuff by yourself? I guess so. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna make friends with Kimberly. That's right, right? Hey. So, um... Bring some extra rations with me in yeah. case Kimberly the, comes around. Just take the bowl, too. You go outside. Um, the dog's waiting for you. Oh. Um, she, she's kind of whining at you. Um, she's obviously still hungry. That was just like a, a snack for her. This dog's probably right, twice well, as big as us, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'll, uh, once again, I feed her, but this time I'm gonna be a little more bold. And, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Me and and do some, and check. Yeah, exactly. Six. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, six. Uh, she comes up to you and takes the food right out of your hand, doesn't bite you or anything like that. Um, eats it up real quick, and then just, uh, Kind of goes and lays down by a bush. Nice. All right. At least didn't go in the bush this time. <laughs> so, you know, right? it's progress. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So, you have. There we go. So, all these little X's mm -hmm. are the places where you need to set the charges. And the X's with the circles are also places at the chargers, but those are underground. You have to go through these dots or entrances to lava tubes. And you have to go under there Ooh. and set them just a, a little bit deeper. Huh, wow. Um, Yikes. Oh, I don't know. Wait for you guys on the lava tube. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem there. And um, <clears throat> um, they're pretty simple. You just get the charges and... Um, Turn on the switch to activate them, and then they're remotely controlled. Um, <laughs> we blow it up. Then you blow it up from the um, from the ship. Bye. All right. Okay. At least that's working. <laughs> well, so I need eight hours. You need four hours. Where are we at? We're on the island. Ten hours for the charges. And yeah, we're on the island. Yeah, all so together. But if she's just going to go around the thing, it'll just take. Yeah, but say get the close ones, and then for the yeah. tubes, we'll actually have to ship. So it'll just take you a couple hours. Right. Yeah, to map out everywhere you're going. All right, all right. So make me an engineering check. Okay. Two. What? <laughs> no, Steve. This this high altitude's really messing with you. Right. All right, make roll another one d six. Oh wait, we already did that last time. Never mind. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so Yaz is in the back, messing around engineering. You're up front. Yeah. Um, give me a navigation check, or give me a electronics. Electronics. <laughs> Two. Man. Thanks. All right. I know. Got a. We need one of your things. <laughs> <laughs> I need a box. You need to borrow the box. All right, so um, you come back. This isn't supposed to be a green wire. Why is this here? Why? Yaws is in the back. He is finished putting all the stuff together, and it doesn't work. 
Oh. <laughs> and uh, Drix is still messing around up in the cockpit. Covered in wire. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the dog has <laughs> not messed with you too much. It has followed you around. Yeah. It, it swam so. across the lake with you and followed you around, but it's so far kept its distance. Make another engineer check. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Come on. Come on, Yaz. Six. There we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right, roll another 1d6. You want to load this time. One. All right. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. You Yay. did it. You did it. Ah! <laughs> All right. At the same time that you are wrapping up your navigation stuff. Just stuffing it in. Yaws cries out from engineering. Um, but this time it's not a cry of despair, it's a cry of happiness. Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> the engine seemed to be working. Yeah. You start hearing that steady... In theory. The whir <laughs> of the... There we go. Yeah, there we Spin go. Spin it up. Yup. Yaws, was that the engines? Wow. It is the engines! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, don't turn them on yet. No. Oh. <laughs> the computer The computer simulation says that they should work. Okay. <clears throat> um, Where should we? <laughs> um, you're not so successful. No. None, none of your stuff works. <laughs> what? <sighs> Roll a 1d6. Make electronics? A, make an electronics check. Three. Three. Okay. Roll again. Two. All right. Um, so, Pernicke's back. To, to a ship that's not really clean. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> How's it going? Engines are, run, engines are good. We got power. And we're still waiting on electronics. Yes. I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> Try your best. <laughs> Try your best. <laughs> I don't understand why they had to pull all of this out. They did this on purpose. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Oh, well, I can go help Pernicky with the charges and the lava tubes. Okay. Um, so that should be okay. On the ship on my own. Yeah. Um, do we have uh, comms yet? What kind of comms? Communications. Like, could we call down to the town? Oh, yeah. All right. I have a real need to do it. Maybe just in case. Right? Yeah. yeah, just in case. It's and you day. guys, you know, can contact each other with your... Uh, with our little transceivers? Else. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so, do you want to do that? Take yeah. uh, Yaz and go down there? And yeah, yeah, we, we, let's go ahead and get this done, because yeah. it sounds like you're going to be a little while. It looks like they really <laughs> wrecked the place. <laughs> right. So, uh, All right. so uh. that would be a little bit of a time-consuming. <laughs> just the, right. I'm in the middle of something right now. Just right. So we got to get him to the Greek. Like, Come on, Kimberly. Where's Kimberly? <laughs> let's, go. let's go with some tubes. Yeah, let's right. get some tubes, Kimberly. All right, so you go down um, into the lava tube. You know what a lava tube looks like? Yep. Big, yep. long, giant now tube. Now I do. <laughs> yeah. And um, these are, I mean, they're fairly large. Uh, they're like five meters high, ten meters wide. Um, the ground, I mean, it's a little uneven. It kind of rotates between some of it's flat, some of it's a little uneven. Um, it's perfectly round at some point. The lava just kept flowing out of this tube as other lava, as lava cooled around in a circle, the hot lava just kept on going and fell out and left this open tube behind. Um, you go into the first one, uh, you set the charges, don't have any problem. Uh, you go into the second one, it's kind of a shorter tube. Um, you go halfway down and you see light in front of you. Ooh. Light. Like natural light or yeah, like, like man-made light? Yeah, like sunlight. Okay. Um, hmm. Make a... What's your science? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
you got lots of sciences. What was that first one? Uh, Soft fun. Yeah, I don't have to look it up. I don't remember what it is. Uh, what is it? <clears throat> Sophontology. It's in one of these books. Is this one for that or is this for that? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, just go ahead and make a general science check. So am I adding? It's just zero. Okay. So four. Four. Okay, um, you just think that this is a tube that just went outside. Okay. Um, I got recon. Yeah, make a recon check. <laughs> make a recon check. Make a recon check. All right. The study of six seven. living creatures. Oh, no, six. Yeah, yeah, seven. Yeah, no, no, seven. I, got a, I got a one for really recon. Yeah, so seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you... Are aware of your location in this area and you're fairly certain that the outside part of this hole is where he fell down earlier oh okay okay and then if you guys went down there you just walked up this lava tube right up into the into the uh, place great <clears throat> yeah <laughs> <Let's do it>. <laughs> um, <laughs> you go to the third one and you're up there, you're in the third one, looking for the location to set the chargers. Um, you are for me? you are fixing. No, no. Um. you are up in the ship fixing. Um, you notice that there is a low rumbling sound. Oh. Things are just kind of shaking, mm -hmm. um, not violently. It's very gentle, almost like uh, at first you think maybe like one of the. The cooling fans and the electronics is rubbing up against something, making something shaker once. Oh, man. Um, but then you realize it's the mountain. <laughs> and it's not. You guys are down there. There's a little bit of dust falling down, but nothing. It's just very, it's very gentle. Like sitting in a massage chair or something. Yeah, all right. Okay. But it lasts like a good minute. And then it quits. Oof. Seismic <laughs> vibrations. Ah. Perhaps we should kind of speed this yeah. along. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Not a thing. Yeah. And so you guys have one more charge. Let's get out of here, Pernicky. Yeah. Let's get this done. <laughs> All right. Justin, roll, roll out of tracks. Come on. Come on. Let's go Justin. green wire. Woo! Yeah. Sit seven. Seven. You uh, flip the switch, and nothing blows up. Yay! <laughs> All right. <laughs> the, uh, the monitor comes on. It's cracked. Of course it is. Of course. Oh, yeah. But you can see astrogation information is starting to cycle through and boot up. Nice. Hey, I think it's working. Loading. Loading. <laughs> There's just an hourglass sitting there. Yeah. Like, mm, spinning. Yeah. Spinning hourglass. They broke the monitor to the computer. <coughs> How did they even do that? They're, they're heathens, Drix. They're heathens. Good work, though. All right, we're <laughs> what are you going to do now? Uh, well, mm. I have to... I guess I have to do pre-flight checks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as a, a seasoned scout guy, um, you know that there's pre-flight checks. Um, ideally, you'd want to uh, run the systems through a computer simulation. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you get around to powering up the engines, um, that's a, a uh, evolution that should take several hours because you would be powering them up like very... Incrementally. incrementally in very small increments okay okay right. so i can start that now yeah and then hopefully by the time they get back we're ready to take off yeah. and that should all these charges yeah that total elevation should if there aren't any like problems or put everything together right should take about four hours maybe a so it's longer. the afternoon i presume that i've had lunch hopefully you all have eaten too Right, we got rations. We yeah. got rations. Kimberly's eating too, so 
you know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I start running these tests, and I get to a point where I can take a little break and have a little protein bar. Okay. You going to eat inside or outside? I guess I could eat inside. I've been, I've been, I've been, I'll eat outside because I've been inside all day. All right. So um, you know what? I go to the turret. Oh, you're just going to look out? I'm going to look out my turret. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's on the other side. A little <laughs> turret fun. <laughs> so that's me. I'm in the turret spinning around. Oh, man. All right, make. Give me an intellect check. Bridget, can I put my dice in your box? Two! <laughs> Thank Maybe you. it just. It's her, it's, my it's, my it's, it's her dragon. It's her dragon. So, four total? Right. so <laughs> an intellect check, so that was four. Okay. Um, well, it was fine. Thanks. Bridget okay. and. Or uh, Pernicky and Yasfiz, um, you guys come back up. You are coming back to the ship. You're on the opposite side of the ship from where you entered the ship. Uh, you get to the lake. I don't know. You guys can walk around. You guys can walk around the other side if you want to swim across that side. Or you can swim across the side you're you're at. The distance is about the same. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, uh, you see some bubbles. Coming out of the surface of the lake. Oh no! Oh, water getting hotter. And I'm like pretty sure popping. that's. It's just like it, it's just in one spot, um, about halfway between you and the the island. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure we still have the cases, since we took the uh, the ordinance mm -hmm. um, with us. Well, the ordinance didn't come in cases. Oh, the ordinance was already on the boat. That's right. Although you could put it in a case theoretically. Yeah. Let's say let's uh, let's let's say just for shits and giggles, we put the ordinance in the cases <laughs> to get them back across the water <laughs> when we went to go set the charges. Probably on the other side of where the bubbling is. Poke off, the water and off. see how warm is it. Do the old right. science yeah, check. Science yeah, science. Uh, the water is not any warmer than it was before. Okay. Okay. Well, does it smell like rotten eggs? You're not there. Well, maybe we could. Right. I'm in the turret. Adam maybe we last. could. Maybe we could walk around, walk around the uh, beach until we get to a point where we can avoid the bubbling. Or do we want to change? The just in one stop. Yeah, it's just just one in spot. one spot. Yeah, one spot. We could so change. We could. We, we could can walk around to the other side of the island. Yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking, yeah. and just, just, yeah, not even right. tempt fate. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, so you walk a little bit down the beach, um, easily avoiding the bubbling area. Um, both of you make education checks. Just because nothing else looks super convenient. Uh, four. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Um, you notice that the lake is several inches lower than it was the night before. Oh. Ah. There's a, a little wet ring around on the beach. Would you, would you look at that? <laughs> right? It's, it's a little bit lower there, that, that water. That bubbling? Yeah. That's got to be... Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of uh-oh. So somewhere somewhere in one of the lava tubes, there's water running down it. There, there's a crack in the bottom of the lake, oh. and the lake is slowly emptying. And that bubbling is air. And we got to get, to the, we gotta get to the ship. <clears throat> well, do we want to... Want to lash our cases together and just balls out for the ship? Probably. Yeah, I think that'd probably be Before best. Before the uh, water 
water goes down or he accidentally shoots us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing up there? The turret spinning around. <laughs> turret works. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Yaz. Turret, turret works. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought last night he was gonna flamethrow that dog, and I was like, oh, oh, "That dog won't." If it would have went into that yeah. airlock, it would have gotten flamed. Well, it would have had something different than rations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say that about Kimberly. I found Kimberly. Tastes <laughs> <laughs> like chicken. Oh, God. Uh, you hear a voice coming over your uh, radio. Oh, that's like. Crew high and dry. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? This is high and dry. Over. It's coming over your radio system. You don't have a way to answer it from there. Oh. I guess I. Have to leave the turret. Turret yeah. stops, and I go down back to operations to go onto the comm station. Okay. Which wait was it navigation or comms that lost the, uh, the seat? Was the comms? Oh, it was. Uh, I think it was one of the navigation chairs. Yeah, in the right. navigation area. Well, good news. I sit in the one chair we got. Hopefully, not soil. Right. <laughs> Hopefully not. This is Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Is anyone there? Mr. Green was. He was the minister um, under the uh, dictator. That's right. He was the yeah. dude that we were talking that got the dictator. Yep, that got us the maglev uh, car. Yay! Mr. Green, this is <laughs> high and dry. We read you over. Did you guys set off the uh, charges yet? There's been some reports from the local villages of some rumbling. Wait, what? <laughs> Renegade, Yaz, have you set the charges off yet? Not yet. I think are we... we still swimming or are we now in the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're about there. He's going to have to wait. He's going to have to wait. Yeah. Electronics are in the cases. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Hello. <laughs> we can probably hear a little. We can probably hear a little. <laughs> Through one of the boxes. <laughs> Mr. Gray, this is high and dry. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't think we did. Over. Oh. Well, can you uh, let us know if anything else is happening as soon as you can, please? There's uh, some smoke pouring out of the side of the mountain in the direction of the fishing village. Describe smoke. <laughs> it's, it's kind of uh, white and steamy looking. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of it. We'll uh we'll keep you posted. Over. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm man. I'm down in the Brindlin fishing village. Uh, we were just waiting to uh, see uh, what was happening for you guys. Just came to uh, check and things kind of started shaking. Don't. <laughs> I walk away from the conversation. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wow. And I go outside with my comms and see if I can see them. Mr. Draws? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going out to the beach, and I'm looking around for this smoke in the air. Okay, now that you're looking, you can see it oh. off in the... Um, a little bit to the, the southwest of where you guys walked up. There's just smoke coming up. I uh, commentate all of this over my radio to them. Okay, they're coming. Hey up everyone, to, I'm, they're, they're coming up to the beach right now. I'm outside, and there's some smoke in the air, and I got a call from Mr. Green. All right, you guys get close. You guys are waiting ashore, and you you can see him calling you on the radio. <laughs> all right, so we'll dig we'll dig our radios out of the box, out of one of the boxes. Well, can we? Are we? No, he's like, no, yeah, yeah, you guys are like right there. there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, oh, yeah. Tell, don't tell Yaz how to live his life. I know. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, I could, I could, I could grab my radio just as fast as I could walk to him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, go and back the back of your head. Yaz is a man who appreciates the niceties of life. Hey, my endurance is four. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, that's right. With uh, a couple days. 
with that sleep, uh, do I take any? Do I get any endurance back? Oh yeah, get one back. Get one back. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, so, so what's the status of the ship there? Uh, it's running some tests now. Uh, we're gonna have to just start powering the up the engine. And... ETA on that? Oh, jeez. Uh, that's an engineering question. Yaws? Yaws, what happens when the computers get done with what they're doing? That's an electronics question. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I tell you what, let's go in the ship and check it out. Yeah. Engin engines will run, according so... to the computer. So... <laughs> well, I don't know. That seems like that seems really far away. Do you think it's the, us? The smoke. Uh, you grew up on a planet of volcanoes. That's true, but it was the dark smoke you had to be careful of. There is that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry, a little smoke joke for Nikki. Here, let's go inside and get this done and get out of here. Right. I'm gonna try to get this uh, horse, Kimberly. Uh, bring oh, it, I'm bringing the dog. Oh, okay. Okay. She's okay. bringing a wet dog on board. All right. No. Well, it already stinks in there. Still so. Food to, like, st yeah. Still a little shy, but it seems to have warmed up yeah. to for Ricky. Oh, man, maybe I should have kept that soiled mattress in for Kimberly. <laughs> dog sleep on the soiled mattress. Well, anyway, soiled it's outside. I'm not bringing it back in. No. No, it's staying. It's staying. Okay. It's staying. <laughs> All right. Till right. we grab um, everything. Yes, leave the soiled mattress. Uh, so you guys go inside. Um, Yas Fizz, uh, you know that's going to take several hours to power up the engines because you got incrementally uh, light them up. But nope. uh, Drix has already um, ran the computer simulations. Um, everything seems okay. Okay. Um, Pernicky, you're up front when um, the computer starts downloading data and you notice that this data is geological data. Um, so the idea is that you set these explosions, they cause, you know, sound waves through the, through the earth and then you take the readings. So this rumbling has already um, has already done that. Mm -hmm. So the, the computer doesn't know the difference between that and the explosions. Gotcha. Okay. So the data is coming through. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a science check. Well, you did all that walking for nothing. Don't forget to reboot the software. No, <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> um, I'm just doing a zero on that then? Yeah. Okay, uh, so four. Okay. So according to this computer module, um, the volcano is... Um, has some activity to it, um, but the data says that it's probably not going to erupt, and it's probably going to be like a few months before anything else happens. And the projection, any kind of projection that um, has been created for an explosion, has it like doing in the opposite direction from the fishing village, and most of the stuff like going out to sea. Hmm. The other way. <clears throat> Good news. At least there's that. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying, Mr. Blom. Mr. Blom. How is that? Anyone? Well, I guess I'm up there with you. Yeah. Would there be other any other reason I want to be in operations? No, I'm. Just operations. I, I had my meal in the turret. Right. Engineering's going okay, so I guess I'd be there to respond to it. Right. This high dry over. Did you find out about those charges? Uh, wait one. <laughs> so, <laughs> it looks like they'll be safe. It's not going to happen for a couple months, and it's going to go out towards the ocean. Sounds good. More land. All right, Mr. Green, this is high and dry. <laughs> looks like you have a couple months before interruption, but uh, it looks like the uh, 
computer readout says it's all going to go in the ocean, so you're going to be okay. Oh, well, that's good news. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Over. Well, uh, just let us know when you uh, set the charges and finish the survey. And uh, hey, I'm looking forward to you playing those bells. Hey, uh, good to hear from Finn. Thanks. Over. <laughs> nice. All right. We're going to bring the roof down. Right. Show up at the ship. Ah, uh, literal roof down. Oh, I don't oh, have boy. it. It's over there. That would have been great. Just right off on the cargo bay. Right. Oh. God, so it's working. You... I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? <laughs> well, powering up the engines. Yep. Well, if it doesn't require me to be active in it, I would say Drix is probably going to start cleaning that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. We need to do yeah. some cleaning. Okay. Uh huh. Are you guys going to... We're gonna do Set a montage. Charges? Oh, what? Are you are you gonna activate the charges? <laughs> Not until we're right. We have to wait till we're like out of the area, right? Like yeah, the computer said we don't have to do it. If anything, it's for fun now. Yeah, it's just for fun now. <laughs> That'd be, you know what? I got a plan. Well, but what no, if go for it. What do you got? What if oh. if it already has assumed that we've done the charges? We could always save that for a potential. Thing that might need to be used for later right so because i mean there are pirates space pirates so we're gonna go get like the that. charges back no they don't think that we already ran the charges so we're keeping the charges yeah so we gotta Maybe. go back and get them i mean i don't want to do that far be it for so, me yeah, we could just blow it up well here's 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 well, the thing keep, to think keep about keep in mind that that readout was from a general Shaking, whereas the charges are like a scientifically True. placed, True. strategic. Right. But I, I don't want to do that while we're still on land. I say let's get this ship up, and then let's see if the turret up. works. Hit that mattress, <laughs> blow the explosions, <laughs> fly out of there. Two sounds, two birds, like one no. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you're you're powering up the engines. Oh, how is how are the charges going to change the outlook of <clears throat> the readouts though? Mm -hmm. I mean, what if what if the difference what if the differences with the charges is where the the eruption's not going to go out to sea, but like go all over the city. <laughs> this is a really insightful thing from Yaws. I want to see if it passes the science test. <laughs> One. <laughs> I guess it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever works. Predicting what do you no. think? Yeah, no, it's fine. All right. <laughs> so you're bringing up the engines, bringing it up slowly. Um, everything is jury rigged at this point. You're just hoping to get this bad boy into the air so you can get back to space dock and have the scout people come in here and have some professionals do, do the hard work. Get some good you. retrofits going. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you're ready to bring those uh, engines on full blast. When which, which button's the explosion and which one's the engines? I don't remember. <laughs> the greener, the blue. <laughs> when there is a sudden shaking again, <clears throat> the mountain starts to shake and quiver. Um, then the alarm starts going off. It is the missile strike alarm. Somebody is launching missiles at you. Someone's what? launching missiles at us. Why? Um roll your electronics checks. Shouldn't one of us be in a turret yeah, to shoot these missiles? So what's that sound? Well, uh, you're, that's, you're an engineer. That's oh, okay. missiles incoming. Okay, I got electronics, uh, what are we doing? Sensors, computer I don't know what your highest. Cost. One. All right. So I got a seven. Oh, look, seven. Yeah. Okay. So you see out the window giant chunks of rock falling from the sky. Bye. Oh, God. It erupted. 
We need to go. So they're not. Wait, missing. what do you see? <laughs> they're not missiles. It's erupting. It was a giant explosion, and now all the big rocks are coming down. We need to go now. Now. Oh. <laughs> Yas. The volcano is erupting. How much time do we got left? Five minutes. We got five minutes. We got five minutes, Trix. Oh my god. Okay, go fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can make that five minutes past any faster. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Blom, Miss Fuzzle Bottom, Miss Tinkerfits, anybody there? This is a high dry over. <laughs> uh, did you just set off the explosions? Yes. They were awfully big. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, Miss Green's high dry. Uh, no, that wasn't us. Over. Okay, there's a lot of rocks falling down here. Oh my god! <laughs> Miss Tinky Wits Cow just got squashed. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We're horrible scientists. I, guys, I think the I think oh. the volcano's erupting. <laughs> uh, uh wait one! <laughs> Yas, how much time do we have left? Uh, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Oh two minutes, Drix. Right. Uh, Mr. Gray, this is high and dry. Uh, we're going to be in air soon. Uh, stay by. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Was that you buckling up? That's me buckling up. <laughs> Drix is in the pilot seat. Fortunately, I have some experience in small craft because I think this is considered small craft. Because pilot, yeah, pilot ships drive is well, this is a spaceship, not ship. <clears throat> yeah, isn't that pilot? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's pilot. I hope I grabbed the right one. Like flight is like a regular plane. Pilot is okay. Shuttle is another craft under a hundred tons, which this is what seventy-five tons. Anyway, I know how to fly the ship. So I get ready, and I'm doing my flight checks, and I'm getting ready to fly away. Okay. Um, there's lava oozing up from the lake. The lake's starting oh, to steam. Guys. <laughs> oh, guys. We... Y'all, go. there's uh, lava coming <laughs> out of the lake. Lava out of the water. I can't. Your, I can't. It's your, I'm giving you you can, you can give them the go, or you can tell them to wait a minute. Are we... Are we is the time up for the... No, not really, engines? but it's probably okay. Maybe. <laughs> Use your engineering know-how. <laughs> Just hit it, man. Get us the hell out of here. Hit it. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Give me a piloting <laughs> check. All right. <laughs> you want a finger waggling at anything? Four. All right. So, not ideally... The ideal takeoff situation, but you've taken off of the ship hundreds of times. That's right. So no problem. Um, you drift up. Uh, everything seems to be working okay. Um, it's got a little. It pulls to the right a little. Okay. But otherwise, it's something pulls that's too right. It's easily correctable. <clears throat> um, and you're now hovering, hovering in the air. So I got three questions. Yeah. Question number one. Is everything working? <laughs> well, everything's not working. Okay. Everything you need to work. Question yes, number two. <laughs> well, question number two, two parter. First part, do I have a window to look out of? Yeah. Second part, what's happening out there? Uh there's Steam coming up from the the lake. Um, you're a little higher now, so um, your visibility is not as obscured as it would be. Um, there's some smoke coming up from the mountain. Um, the remains, the like the, the, the lighter remains, like the super light pumice and dust is falling down now. Um, it's kind of like a little bit like looking through the fog. You can okay. see the fishing village in the distance. Um, one of the submarines, the uh, farming submarines, has come up. Uh, people in the village are running to get onto it. Okay. Uh, from the south, the electric train is coming. 
Um, Full blown evacuation. Yeah, there's an electric. The electric train is coming into uh, town. Should we detonate the charges? Yeah. <laughs> so far, Renee, what do you think? It's about time it. to time to set the charge. Might as well see if it's uh, definitely coming towards the village since we don't rightly know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, flip the switch and All let's right. let's blow it and get out of here. I also want to shoot at that soiled mattress with my turret. Okay. <laughs> So Wait, see, is it elect? Does it does it have to be manual, or can I do it from the cockpit? You can do it from the cockpit. All right. Oh, sorry, I was like, but yes, not from. Go, the- <laughs> go to the turret and <laughs> shoot that mattress. <laughs> we need to make sure our turret's working. <laughs> it's part of the check. Oh God. Yeah, you know what? I do that. Okay. Yaws, uh, we're getting out of here. Man the turret. Uh, shoot the mattress. We're uh, we're gonna blow the charges. All right. I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, make an attack roll. Oh god. Okay. Please let it be good. Please let it be good. Yeah. Uh, turrets, right? Yeah, I got turret. Oh, nice. Four. One. All right. Um, your experience with turrets. It's a immobile object. You shoot it with no problem. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Wait, <laughs> did you get Kimberly? Kimberly's been with us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. Forgot There's, her bowl, but she got the dog. No, yeah. Right. <laughs> There's no um, more mattress, Trix. The mattress is no more. That's good. Let's get out of here. Pernicky, light her up. <laughs> uh, this is Minister Green to the high and dry. Anybody there? That's you. Oh, I'm a pro. Oh, yes, yes. I'm here, over. <laughs> hey, uh, we were wondering, can you... Um, Maybe do some terrain mapping and give us a model on the lava flow to tell us uh, where exactly it's going and how much time we got before it gets to the village. Working on it right now, sir. Over. Nice. Did you guys set the charges? Did I miss that? Yeah, we set okay. the charges. Charges set. Yeah. We're just <clears throat> waiting for our printing to blow it. Yeah. Okay. So, if you guys are going to map the terrain for these guys, did you blow it? Yeah. Okay, so if you're going to map the terrain for these guys, um, you would just have to fly over the lava a couple times, and um, and use your sensors to to uh, give a map and produce a simulation of where the lava would go based on that map. All right. Um, to establish the flow rate, there are two ways to do that. You can go closer to the surface and just hover over the lava or you can find a stream of lava and uh, fly hover next to it Um, it's a pretty uh, uh, I always forget which viscous is thick and which is thin it's Um. not very viscous I think it's fairly swift form moving moving lava so there's no um, rip, there's no Ripley protocol to be done on this. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's an aliens reference. It is. Okay. <laughs> Just to be sure. <laughs> Ripley was a badass. Wow, you have sensors. So, uh, mm-hmm. you yeah. set off the charges. Um, simulation is coming through. Your uh, computer now says that eruption is intimate. There is <laughs> good to know. There is um, a plug, so there's still lava creeping out, um, but a plug has formed in the uh, in the tube where the lava the main uh, gases and stuff are coming out. Yeah. So it is temporarily shut off the smoke and steam and stuff like that, but it's building, uh, it is now building pressure behind that plug. And so another explosion is uh, probably imminent. No. Within the next couple weeks. (laughs) So what are we going to do? Actually, I don't know if our cockpit are set up. Are we side by side? We are side by side. 
Well, I, I think it's up to the pilot at this point. We got little display thingies, too. Boop, 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 boop. So I don't have a... That's where we are right now? Yeah. Well, is this the one that one of the chairs is missing? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Well, I kind of picture a side panel being there and another one being here and stuff. Because I mean, there's usually a, a, a crew of, like, 40 people on this ship. Because, yeah. I mean, pilot, co-pilot, facing forward, usually navigation yeah. is communications mm -hmm. on the side. Yeah. At least per airlines of this modern era. Yeah. Picture kind of like an airline cockpit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you co piloting with me. Right. Well, I, I do have a little bit of the, the skills in that. Yeah. So, so do you want to... Uh, are you guys going to... I mean, there's several things you can do now. You can map that terrain flow right for them. You could say, screw you guys and fly off into space. Um, you don't have a jump drive right now. You need, well, your bells are You down need to there. fix that somewhere. No. So you, do have to, you, you do have to save the bells. Frankie so brings up an important <laughs> point. <laughs> and you do are have, my bells in danger? And your bells are not in danger. They're in another town. Okay. Oh, that's right. They're, they're that's in the right. capital. They're in center, Central Lake. All right. That's good. Okay. But we should probably save this bell. You do have to go get the bells. Well, you don't yeah. have to. You could leave your bells there and go get Whoa. some new bells. <laughs> this imagine, voice in no. my head. I don't agree with it. <laughs> I imagine you got to be in good standing with the dictator to get your bells back. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I mean, we, we are generally good gnomes. Yeah, we are. Right. Also, we got to get paid. Yeah. yeah, that too. Yeah. That too. <laughs> Listen, your pension ain't going to get you through all of it. Right? <laughs> we have standards, and they are not like the filthy mongrels that had this shit before us. You're right. Right? We're going to get a Kimberly a good home. Yeah, all right. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so we can scan it, or we can go with the flow. That's for the flow rate for mapping the terrain. That's scanning. Let's say we go flow rate. We want to make sure that they're safe, right? Yeah, I can fly. You can scan. Well, you got to map the uh, terrain to figure out where the flow, fly. where it's flowing to. I can also fly. Yeah. So let's okay. Let's map terrain first. All right. So go ahead and give me an electronics check. Oh, Yaws, uh, can you come down here and take the wheel? Oh, sure. We'll put Yaws on the wheel since we got to do electronics. Both of us doing electronics? Yeah. I mean, well, you can do it from your pilot seat. Yeah. Okay. Does Yaws have a piloting skill? Four. I do. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Both him and I are pilots. Okay. Yep. What do you so got? So am I. No, oh, you are? Ooh, what do you got? I got a small crown. I rolled a seven. Nice. Okay. Uh, I got a four. Um, so, uh... Electronic game. Um, you guys map it. It uh, it shows that Bravin, the uh, Barvin, the fishing village is going to be consumed by lava. Oh! And the overland route from which the train is coming is going to be cut off. Oh no! Oh no! So the train has already left. Dropped some people off and is coming back again. But um, it's electric train. It doesn't go super fast. Probably only has three or four more trips left in it. Well, I guess somebody should let Mr. Green know. All right, give me a piloting check. Uh, do you want me to do it? Yeah. Yeah, All I'll right. put you on the fly. Don't crash your ship. I'll try not to. Everybody's watching. No guarantees. No! Oh, oh, yeah. Six! <laughs> um, so you come down. Are you going to hover over the lava, or are you going to go next to the lava? Oh, which would be better? I uh, probably want to ask which would be more group? which would be more efficient. You might want to ask the people that grew up on uh, ask the lava uh, girl. city with the uh, volcanoes. Should we Australia fly over or next so, to? <laughs> I'm talk out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just decide. Okay. Um, probably alongside. Alongside. Long okay. So next to. Okay. Cool. All right. So we'll do next to. So. You are thinking it's going to be about an hour oh. before the lava gets to that village. Okay. We Marine. need to go to that village and load the ship up with people. Agreed. Agreed. I That's mean, it's a, a cargo idea. ship, right? Yeah, I mean, so we have room. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, wherever people are All right, then mostly we masked right now. Radio... All right. To a radio, you get us there. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
How long is it going to take us to get to the village? Shouldn't take too long. Like a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to prep getting people. Right. All right. Mr. Green, this is I dry over. Oh, I was just about to call you guys. Yeah, Mr. Green, you have an hour uh, until the fishing village is consumed with lava. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it looks, <laughs> and it looks like the train's going to be blocked when that happens. Oh, no. We're, uh, we're, we're coming mm. into the village. Uh, we have room to evacuate people. Uh, where should we lay? Okay. Um, you can land in the center of town. Uh, oh, there's that statue there. Okay, but don't worry about the statue. (laughs) Just uh, land in the center of town. Okay, we'll meet you by the statue. And wait a minute. (laughs) Wait a minute. Uh, It looks like there's some people who are trapped on the south side of the mountain who also need some rescuing. Um, Oh, no. Oh, the dictator's. It's the dictator's limo driver's family. It looks like it looks like she's rushing over there to save them, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> the fewer the many. Didn't we tell him to wait <clears throat> for us? She said she was going back down to the village. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So why did they come so, back? If you look out the window, <laughs> you can see the car. You can see the the limo is rushing. Um there's like a couple houses down to the south of you. Um, the lava is uh, is heading in that direction too. Oh. Um, so can we save there's, both? There's there's some people on the roof. Can we? And it looks like you have to choose one or the other. Oh. oh. The so village. The village or the limo driver's family. Well, well, the limo driver was very nice to us. He was. But how is the dictator going to feel with all of his fishermen being um, Pompeyed? Well, the limo driver does have a limo. And? <laughs> They have a grab drive. They let, can they can maybe save their the, family. Let the limo driver get the family. I think the overall village. The needs of the many outweigh yes. the needs of the few. Yes. Mm. All right, I'm I'm channeling Picard here on this one, man. Okay. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Captain No More Gone, Picard. <laughs> <laughs> of the third consortium. Yes, a true hero. Yeah. Oh. All I right. love it. Are you guys going to the village? <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go to I the village. I think we got to go to the village. You know what? Limo driver's got a limo. Good they're luck. are on their way. I mean, good luck, to, my friend. To, yeah, good luck. All right. Um, you head to the village. Uh, Look for the statue. The yeah. submarine uh, has left. It's taken as many people as it can. Um, the train is back, and it's been and it's left again. And um, yeah, you see, you see a statue. It's a uh, just like one of those old timey statues dedicated to somebody you can see he's wearing clothes that are older style than people, some asshole people, people, doing people this. have now <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, it's like the glory to the lost cause <laughs> right yeah. Uh, yeah but other than that the the market center is pretty clear so we're gonna land on the statue because that'll be great just, yeah, you can land on it. You can yeah. shoot, nice. shoot it. You can, no, just, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. We're in the we'll land on it. Yeah, yeah. We'll just say, hey, we needed, we needed this space. Yeah, we're not here for And the sh- lava was going right. to take if it anyway. Accidentally. Oh, yeah. You know, accidentally. Knock it over. Yeah. Just but don't, don't de- shoot it. Don't just don't dent my don't ship. Shoot Hopefully, you don't have a thin hull. <laughs> right, right. All right. right. There's a grinding sound as you uh, settle uh, down into the thing. 
Yeah. It's like that statue. Just more repairs. Like most places, most of the people here are, are, are vegans. <clears throat> um, that's when... God, it's going to smell great in here. When you them, notice that most of the people who are on the train were humans. Oh, wait, do we have what humans? Speak, They're not uh, humans, gnomes. I oh. do. I speak I speak burger. I'm okay so with that. So you need to come and shout at them. To oh, I'll take, right. I'll take the wheel. Do we have a PA system on the ship that I can just like... Oh, shout yeah, at people great. sure great. Yeah. yeah yeah i wired right. that let's do that and i'll be like anybody that wants to live hop right. aboard so are you gonna just open your airlock door the cargo door what type uh, of cargo door do we the get? cargo door probably fit like, more people it, it like comes down like a ramp down. that comes down yeah yeah it's probably like, but that's, people people that's where your workshop is so i have to come through there anybody no, comes, so they're gonna be in the lower we level anybody who comes through there would have to Climb up through yeah, engineering to, to get to the, the airlock. Then, right? Like the, we can let them both. Yeah, there's, in, right? go, there's, there's a door. There we go. Both. How there's a both? door. Yeah. That, yeah. Both. There's a door that goes into the cargo, the upper modified cargo area too. Okay. Well, then I'm well, gonna well, let's lay this really sucker and open it's it's it all up. It's not as big as the ramp into the true workshop, but well, I'll take I'll take the wheel since you can speak their language, and then you and Pernicky can. And I'm just gonna yeah, we can just one on each. Each entrance. Yeah. I'm just going to tell all the people to right. use use the cargo door and use the airlock door and okay. get your asses Find in Find a hole and get live. in there. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. You can fit like 40 people in there. How many people are waiting? Uh, 40. About 65. <laughs> oh, man. 65? Yeah. Well, that's most of them. We can fit 40. All right. Time to draw the, straws. They start uh, coming in through the entrances. You, they, they're surprisingly calm and efficient. Hey, good uh, job, doggies! Like most of this planet is not is not a planet of people of action. They pretty much wait for some people to tell them to do stuff. Nice. And then they just go about doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So everybody gets on a problem. Except um, for 15 of them. <laughs> except for the last 15, and uh, you can open doors, and uh, you can fly away, and you can just land them somewhere safe and come back, or... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we know where the lava's exactly. not going. Yes. Right. Take them to the next safest city, All or right. town, or whatever. Or just drop them off. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, we have we had about an hour. Yeah. How long do we have left? Uh, you have 45 minutes now. No. Okay. All time in the world. Yeah. I would say drop them off at the nearest train station that's not cut off from right. the uh, okay. lava flow. There we go. So it'll take about 20 minutes All right. to get there and back. I'll wait till I get checks from my crew till I fly off and do that. All right. Um, everything checks out? You, yep. you guys are okay? Good. Cool. All right. So you zip over to Central Lake. Uh find a place to land, drop people off, um, zip back. Uh, while you're flying back, um, coming up the mountain. Right, here's your- I'm not sure if I, have a, if I have a stick or if I just have buttons. I don't know how, I don't know how these ships I work. Know, the stick seems like that would be more Yeah, exciting, you know? yeah. yeah. like that one? Or you can like jet plane it, you have like a- oh, That's right, a little, right. little thing oh, okay. and the- uh, That's right. The, the, I don't know what those are called. I don't know what they're called. The accelerator. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, like so. Here's the mountain. Oh, excuse me. Here's the mountain. Here's the village. And uh, oh, I forgot. Sabari is the closest town. So then you come back here, and you're flying from this direction. Yeah. When there's a giant explosion. Uh, the train, oh, sorry, the train has already come back and is loading people up. Oh. Um, oh, jeez. And there's a, as you guys come in, um, there's a giant explosion of pyroclast, just gases and ashes and stuff um, come flying at you. Uh, and the head of that giant gas is the grav limo. Oh no! Tumbling, oh, oh, tumbling, no. tumbling oh. as it's pushed, There's thrown out of the ocean. No. Oh, they didn't make it. Poor Grav Limo. 
and limo driver and family. And you... Maybe they made... Say 40 people. We did. Maybe they made a run for it. Even though the train was there and they probably all could have been saved. Yeah, so, maybe, maybe. It's all right. A giant cloud is coming at you. Um, Evasive maneuvers. You do some of that pilot shit, man. No. <laughs> I'm getting out of uh, here. What do you want to do? You want to try to outrun it? You want to try and go above it? Oh, you want to turn into the wave like they do in, in the sea? There we go. <laughs> We're going to ride this right through. Well, well, that's stupid, and that wouldn't work. <laughs> It would be entertaining for me, though. Well, I don't want to do the Prometheus oh, or you can go line under, Or you can go underwater. As it's coming towards me, I want to fly away from it, but to the side. Okay. You know, so that way it goes past me. Okay. All right. So you're going you're gonna to take it at an angle. I'll take it at Disappear. an angle. Disappear. Away at an angle. There we go. All right. Because, I mean, it's a cone attack, right? Right. Oh, if it's a cone attack, then I want to fly in to the side. Because it's just going to get bigger the further away it goes. Right. So you know what? I am flying into it. To the side. <laughs> what? Right? It's a cone. No, it's just a giant... Oh. S- straight out. All right. I'm going gonna, gonna to sidestep it. Okay. The ship's doing this. Yeah, right? oh, what's going on? What are you doing? Jax, what are we doing? Hold on, we're going to fly into it. Hang on, we're doing the Kentucky two step. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You want me to do a little piloting? I want you to. Yeah. All right. Hold on to your butts. Five. Five. That's your total? That's my total. All right. So you take an angle Good. and disip- and um, driving away for it. Um, the shock waves do hit the ship. Uh, everybody, roll one d six. One. Three. Two. All right. God damn. Take, take that many points of. Damage as you're, as you're tossed around. Oh no. As Pernicky's seat comes flying from its mount. Oh, oh no! Gosh. We did it. Takes the most damage. The bracket. Off, uh, okay. Off of okay. So here? negative two. Um, either endurance or strength, right? Yeah, start with endurance. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And then it comes off strength. Okay. Can you increase your stats? Yeah. Okay, because I really need to increase strength. To yeah, the, the same way you do training, take eight weeks to I concentrate on push ups. Eight yep. weeks of push ups. Right. Eight weeks of push ups. Yes. You can do it. <laughs> Joss is going to have to put himself through the ringer for a right. little while. We're going to have to get you some protein um, shakes. Um, right. <laughs> so, um, take Kimberly on walks. There you there go. You go. <laughs> yeah. That gets your endurance up. Right. The vents suck in a, a huge amount of dust, oh, no. and the engines start flaming. No, 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 um, no. Make an engineering check. Oh God. Okay. Oh jeez. Yeah. Woo. Uh, four. Oh, what's your engineer? No. Zero. Zero. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah, hey, we need more engineering classes. So. <laughs> <laughs> one of the engines, you're able to keep one engine up. Hey, one engine's not bad. But, uh, That's all we need. <laughs> the other one is fa- actually the engines are on this game. Thing. <laughs> one. <laughs> no. You're able to keep the starboard engines up, but the port engines go down. Oh. Give me a piloting check. Well, it already veers to the right, so three. No, you're in a flat spin heading out to sea. No, no. Oh, gosh. Goose died in a flat spin. Okay. Oh, poor Goose. No, no I'm just sad. Time, goose. This time you'll live instead of having your neck broken from a can- canopy malfunction. <laughs> Top Gun 2. Goose lives. Goose lives. <laughs> Your modern technology. All right. Oh, God. In the Department of Veterans Affairs, we fixed them. 
great. It's a little zombie-like, but it'll be fine. That's right. It'll be okay. Just take some Motrin. <laughs> You'll be okay. So give me another prowling check. Oh. Pernicky, I think I can hold it. Kenny? Oh. Oh, God. Two. Oh. Would you get two? I got two. Oh, Do you need help? All right. Do you need help? This isn't help? working as well as I oh. thought. Oh. You hit the water. Oh. Uh, at a, uh, at kind of a, an angle that skips you across the top of the water. Oh, mm. that's and a little vomit inducing. You land on the beach. Uh, every roll one, two, six. <sighs> two. All right, two points damage. One. One point damage. Okay, so, so far it's negative three combined. So, okay. All right. Uh, so, you're on the beach. You got half your engines working. Um, I think we made it. Everything, yeah, except in... Ten minutes, this whole place can be covered in lava. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Right. So, what do you want to do? Oh, I try to fly away. All right, you trying to take off again? Yeah. All right. Do you need assistance? The, yes. Why? Well, I, I guess I could do a little... I. Well, I suppose the good thing to do is to look at my uh, display and see how well the ship took that. Um... Things seem to be intact. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do another engineering check. Nope. And <laughs> is everything okay back there? Oh no, wait. You came back up. Where are you? You were in the turret, but then you came up. I came up and piloted, but now you're pilot. piloting. So. But then you went down to help those people. Yeah. Then we dropped them off. Yep. So we're all yeah. we're all back in. We're all back in our spaces. Just you're you're on the floor, strapped yeah. into a chair. <laughs> Fucking two. All right, roll another one d six. Three. All right. You think you can get them activated in thirty minutes? Oh, just make. Do we oh, have thirty minutes? Hurry up. Five. Five. All right. Um, if you take your time, you can lift the sucker off the ground and get it to a safe spot. Let's do that. All right. Y'all just keep it together. I'm getting us out of here. I'll do what I can. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Can't take any more. Pernicky, are you okay? I think we'll be all right. All right, good. <laughs> Where do you want to go? The seatbelt's broken. Yeah. Um, let's see. So the train, I assume, got the rest of the people. Yeah. Okay, from the village. But and not the limo driver. The limo driver and his family are a moot point now. Um, oh, that's right. They're out to sea now. They're, they're out to sea. Yeah. Is it possible the car is still floating, or are they just done? Uh, you can take a look. Let's let's see if they're let's see if the car is still there. You might want me to while you're working on what you're working on. Oh yeah, good yeah, point. Yeah. Good point. We okay. Have Thirty minutes before we're yeah. Lava. We're gonna, that's true. Right? You gonna fly a little circle around the uh, area? No, no, no. Yeah. Can we? Oh, yeah. I'll sure. be with Dan. Sure. Okay. Uh, give me yeah. a sensors roll. Do you have sensors or electronics yeah. something? Oh, right. yeah. Four. Four? Mm-hmm. Is that with your bonus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't see anything. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right. All right. All right, where are you going to go? Uh, I guess we want to go... Back to the main city. Yeah, we want to go we... to the... Um, Space dock. Yeah, it's the best dock that we. Oh wait, get. is there space dock in the sky? No, they have or a space the port. Space port, which yeah, is does. just a small landing area, and then there's Central Lake, which is the capital area. Yes, Central Lake for now, because we got to go back there and get your bells and shit anyway. So that's true. We got to get paid. That we've done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Central Lake then. So. To the capital. Okay. Um. You guys fly to the capital. <laughs> Barely. And <laughs> limp in. Um, you kind of have to land outside of the capital. Uh, says who? 
Well, there's nowhere to land. Well, okay, where do you want to land? No, let's, let's <laughs> not. I want to land as close to the dictator's house as possible. Well, then it had to be outside the capital. All right. Because it's just a very All right, cluttered. It's small, but cluttered. Fine. <laughs> Fine outside. Um, all right. So you guys land, and... Um, we know the limo spot's open. The... <laughs> It's just a small garage. You're in a big spaceship. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's trying it's to a be point, you know. <laughs> trying to do like a victory. You do a flyby. <laughs> right? I'm thinking about Yaws. We can't have him walking around so much. It tuckers him out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you guys land and uh, a crowd of people um, are coming from to your ship. A crowd of dogs. Yeah. Okay. Dog people, uh, you know, some gnomes are there too. Yeah. Ten percent of them are gnomes. Um, <laughs> it's good representation. <laughs> um, and uh, the uh, the other limo comes comes up, and Dictator Marston and Mister Green get out of it, and they're just they're just waiting. <clears throat> we did it. All right. <laughs> Are you going to leave the ship? <laughs> well, they've come to us, right? Yeah. But you guys have landed the ship. So I'd leave the ship. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Are you two ready to get our just rewards? Well, oh, tentatively, I yes. We Be on your guard. I don't know it's going to be quite like that. Yeah. Be ready to get back on the ship and take off. I'm going to... Close to the ship. Are you cautious? Actually, yeah. okay. My flamer reassuredly insane. Do you want me to hang out in the turret? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. No, I, got, I, got a, I have a, a, a a new friend to take care of. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. Right. That's so true. are we all going to go out, yeah. or does somebody want to stay no, behind? I'm staying behind. I'm okay. staying behind. Okay. All right. So I'll go out with you. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got a laser. I got. A, I got a blaster on my side. You know. Yeah, we're armed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you guys go outside. Um, Mr. Green comes up to you. Uh, he says, um, Mr. Blom, Mr. Tinker Fitz, where's uh, Miss Fuzzlebottom? She's inside the ship taking care of the dog. Oh, the dog? We saved a dog. There was an abandoned dog uh, up on the mountain. And 40 people. He looks, <laughs> all the vigor look around at each other and go, hmm? <laughs> <clears throat> There's a tense stirring in the air. Oh no! Uh oh. Um, Mr. Green kind of. Hmm. Okay. Well, her name's Kimberly. Miss Fuzzlebottom's name? <laughs> <laughs> no, the hound. Uh, oh, that, that we, we found. found uh, oh, you mean an actual dog? Yes. Yes, I guess so, a dog would be inappropriate. You know yeah. The name of it. Oh, the, I can't said, tell you because I'm not there. He just said the name. Oh, the, yeah, Kimberly. Yeah, it just said the hound, but no, it no, has no, an actual no, hound no. too. Yeah, the Tensure Hound. Tensure Hound. Yeah. Well, Dictator Marston would like to extend his thanks. You have. Uh, we've lost a few people, but a lot of lives were saved due to the actions of the train conductors and the submarine drivers, and of course your crew. So we're going to have a celebration tonight. We'd like you, like you to come to the palace. Yes. And join us. Yes, I will play at your party. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're welcome. Play what? Sorry, Mr. Green. He's a bit conceited. Um, he's assuming that you want him. You want him to play his bells. <laughs> oh. Oh, are you the bell player they were talking about? Yes, that's me. Oh. Well, we already have a band. Even but better. We have a club. You can play there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fourth chair. Fourth chair. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> so they have a celebration. Uh, they pay you your money. Yeah. And they give you a thousand credits bonus. Nice. For a total of six thousand. <clears throat> and they. Wait, is that each? <clears throat> No, that's all together. Yeah. 
Um, they give you whatever assistance you need fixing your engines. Um, although they're not a, a spaceport with a lot of ports and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, they give you whatever time you need to get everything fixed. And um, you can depart whenever you want to depart. Well, I tell you what, we're going to show up to this club and we're going to have at least one night of some hardcore musician party. And a lot of drinking. My bells. Okay. And it's a whole it's a whole stage act too. It's very artistic. It's not just me showing up playing bells like I'm some weirdo that carries bells around. No, there's lights. There's potential dancing. It's just the whole thing. All right, that's right. So, so you guys have never chair. you guys have never seen his bell show before. We've well, seen his bell show before. Right. Yeah. Perry's not seen his bell show before. <laughs> that's right. You were you were pre bell. You you knew me yeah. before the bells. Yeah. yeah. Um, engines, so at the uh, dock, it's engines fixed and some repairs, or just engines fixed? Uh, whatever repairs it takes you over a few days. Okay, so I'll days. just say engines fixed and some repairs. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's all, okay. It's all just getting ready for space flight. <clears throat> cool. Getting that jump, cool. getting that J drive ready to go. Um, and that's it. Woohoo! Unless you feel the need to really do something, that is the end of this portion of the adventure. Stuff uh, together for right. Oh four yeah, four of us now since uh -huh. we're a crew of four. Yep, That's we right. are. We are. Well, get Kimberly a new bowl. They were yes. right. <laughs> there you go. And we, we have a workshop where we can work on it. Maybe there we could go. trade her. You know, walk that her dog current the, bowl uh, in we for flight for weeks. The bowls left. Uh, Just around the cargo. Oh, the bowl was left. Yeah. The cargo hold. Yeah, that's right. Oh. That's right. Poor we'll Kimberly. Have baggies for that. We have plastic no, baggies she everywhere. She did. She so did. So that, that's, that's a good thing. But she's probably looking for her bowl going. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. really think she cares about the bowl. Oh, okay. Probably. Right. She has a new friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That feeds her. Well, uh, we could. Well, we'll definitely have to uh, supply up. But the big question is, before we go somewhere. <laughs> Where do we want to go? That's the question. Well, that you must go, be answered. You got to go back to the Flamerian right. oh. spaceport. Oh, yeah. that's right. We got to bring the ship back. Some type of mission. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pick up. Okay. And we go are, back yeah. to. Yeah. This Anders. was all a side thing. This is the Sorry. ridiculous path we had to take so that we could do the mission. That's mission's right. not even done yet. The mission isn't done. We just got the item yep. from the burning mountain. Saved the hound. Saved a bunch of dog people. Sorry, limo driver. <laughs> yeah, that guilt will be with us for the rest of our days. No, that's right. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that to yeah. my stack of my problems. You can write a song about it. Oh, I am gonna yes. write a song. God, what was her name? I don't to the limo driver. We didn't. Uh, we didn't ask. No, we somebody didn't. knows. You can ask somebody. <laughs> that's right. You know what? That is what. The party at the club is about it's afterwards. They, this this is for the limo driver. And and and, and their family. And their family. And their family. Okay. And their family. Ding 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 ding. There you go. All yep. right. Woo. Or chair amazing. right there. Yeah. Right. All right. Good All job, right. everybody. <laughs> I'm glad I did not have to research any space battles or space checks or. Navigation for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> That'll be for next time. Well, that was fun. That yeah, was we'll do that for next time. And that is the end of our first adventure, based on the module High and Dry. We hope you enjoyed their adventure and consider subscribing to our podcast at patreon.com. Look for Patreon only content such as a review of this module and other fun exclusive content. Like our Facebook page and our patron only Facebook group. We are also on Twitter. Send us an email on Gmail. Everything is Galactic Nomads. Thanks for exploring with us. Until next time, space out.